when it comes down to doing it yourself, it's really intimidating. Yeah. You're, you see these massive theaters and you think, how is that even possible? Sure. But really, it's just a puzzle of small things that go into it. Yeah. And so it's about finding each step that leads to another step that leads to another step. I've done everything from a living room. Okay. I've done offices. Yeah. I've done, uh, you know, obviously grand six-figure you know, theaters. But you know, we, work from, we work with everything. How big the budget is, we can handle it. Hey guys, we are here at Audio Advice Live 2023. I'm here with Nick Rich. Nick, last year I sat down with Scott and we talked through your new revamped mm -hmm. home theater design tool. And that is an incredible free tool that I've shared with you guys here on the channel. But you guys take it a step further. If somebody wanted to build a home theater, you can go on their website and you can design it. You can lay out your room, mm -hmm. configure where your speakers are placed, the size of screen. But what if they want more than that? And yeah. what a lot of my audience may not know is that you do full design services, yep. correct? Yep. So the theater tool does a fantastic job. It gets a good overview, but what if you have a door, you, you know, a door in a weird place? Sure. Or if you have a soffit or a beam running through your room, or maybe you just want to take it to the next level and say, you know, I want a human touch on this that nice. you know, maybe a computer can't do. That's where we step in. So we do free 30 minute consultations where we kind of just get a general overview, get a feel for your room, any quick questions you have, or you know, if you bought something, you said, you know, I just want to know, you know, generally where this goes. Sure. That's where we can just give that and you know, okay. the free 30 minute overview. But if you want to take the next level, we offer it on a deposit basis. Okay. So we offer a design deposit that's currently at about a thousand dollars. Sure. And then uh, that's where we do the full design. So we use architecture software. We can do a floor plan of the room, full 3D rendering, everything. Right. And the reason why you have that deposit was because that stuff takes a lot it of does. time and you're the one that actually does that designing, yeah. right? Yeah. So I, I do, you know, a couple of these, well, more than a couple of these, probably about five of these a week. Yeah. So we're doing a lot of theaters, That's you know, awesome. sitting down, laying them out. And, you know, the, um, the thing a lot of people don't understand is just the time that does go into it yeah. because you have to analyze, you know, the speaker placement, the sure. screen placement, seating, acoustics. Yeah all of it. Everything matters. If you want to have a quality home theater, now I kind of did mine myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where to put stuff. I'm just like, okay, that'll look good over there. Put acoustic panel here. Yeah. But you look at science, you look at math, you mm -hmm. look at the room and you look at what's going on and you have a system that you've developed and yep. plus just years of experience of doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So specifically we work with a lot of DIY customers yeah. because when it comes down to doing it yourself, it's really intimidating. Yeah. You're, you see these massive theaters and you think, how is that even possible? Sure. But really it's just a puzzle of small things that go into it. Yeah. And so it's about finding each step that leads to another step that leads to another step. So let's talk about those steps. Yeah. So let's just say I'm a consumer. I go to your website, I draw up my little plan mm -hmm. and I get it as best I can, but I'm like, I know this thing. There's <laughs> maybe, like I said, maybe there's some elements in my room that your design tool can't accommodate. Yep. And so my next step, what would that be? Yeah, so that's where we do the consultation. From the consultation, we're gonna get an understanding of what you want. Mm -hmm. And so my job, while there are some ideal ways to lay out a room where it's just like, hey, we got one seat and let's make this room dead perfect. Sure. That's often not the case because unfortunately, you know, we've got other people that want to enjoy it besides yeah. us, <laughs> but it's about finding the form and function where they meet together. So Nick, I've paid my deposit, $1,000. Mm -hmm. What's the next step after that? Where do we go from there? Yeah. So once you've paid your deposit, we're going to sit down for about an hour, lay out the room. So that's, give me the floor plan. We scale it out and we do it live there with you. Okay. So we can have an overhead view and a 3D rendering going at the same time. So cool. you're going to tell me, you know, how many people are there? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get our or all of our risers set up mm -hmm. and analyze our ceiling heights, make sure that we got our clear walkways and we're going all of our you know basic acoustics of right. saying three feet away from a boundary, okay. all of that, and sight lines are all laid out. Sure. So from there, I take it back. I do all of the speaker angles, and uh, that's where we talk about equipment lists. So. Okay. At the end of that meeting, we'll discuss equipment generally, you know, because we just really want to know budget, not because of the level of equipment, right. but because of configuration. Okay. So if we're going to be doing a 724, a 946, a 5.1, something like that, mm -hmm. we have to know that in order to lay out the room. Sure. But one of the biggest things that I do is future proofing. Okay. So a lot of the rooms I pre-wire for a 946 mm -hmm. if I can, because in the future, let's say you want to add front wides or dual surrounds. Mm -hmm. 
you've now got the option to do right, it. Or you correct. want to add middle heights. Or if you sure. just want to start off with middle heights and then grow up to four heights. It's one of the most flexible ways to pre-wire, and so yeah. that's, how we, uh, that's how we do that. Yeah, and I've always encouraged you guys, wire is cheap. Wire you know, is cheap. Run the wires, especially if you're building a home, mm -hmm. you've got the drywall down, go ahead and run all of the potential of what you might get in this room as yep. far as your speaker layout. Because like you said, you can always cut out the drywall, pull those wires through, yep. attach your speakers as funds become available. So I love that you're recommending, hey, go ahead and even if you think you're only gonna do four Atmos, go ahead and wire, run two extra pair up mm -hmm. there so you possibly could grow that to six if yeah. you need to. Yeah, and that's where you know, a lot of those things people don't know to, to do. Yes. And so that's why we're here to help is because yeah. while your room is open, you now have <laughs> ultimate flexibility. Yeah. So do everything you can right there in the beginning. Sure. So I'm assuming these design services still work for like me. So I bought a home mm -hmm. that had a media room. It was just mm -hmm. a 13 foot wide, 19 foot deep, mm -hmm. 10 foot ceilings. Even though I'm not new construction, could I hire your services to yeah. do that too? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, with a DIY focus, we can lay it out. And, you know, even if this is something that's a year down the road that you're thinking about doing, we can do it now and, you know, use that deposit later if we need to. But, um, yeah, absolutely. I've done everything from a living room. Okay. I've done offices. Yeah. I've done, uh, you know, obviously grand six-figure, you know, theaters. But, you know, we work, from, we work with everything. So no matter how small the budget or no matter how big the budget is, we can handle it. I love that. Absolutely love that because it's not just the big ones, man. And you guys, yeah. I mean, you know me, I'm affordable and I'm trying to figure out how yeah. can I save money. But here's the thing too, it's like, you can either try to do it yourself and it'll mm -hmm. save you a ton of money. But like you said, you've got yeah. years and years and you've got this big team that has a huge amount of knowledge. And in the ultimate, in the, in the end game, that'll save you tons of money because you're not figuring it out and going, oh man, that didn't really work yeah. out. And I've got to undo what I did. And so if you do it right the first time, mm -hmm. so much better. Yeah, well, time is money. You know, <laughs> at the end of the day, time is money. And also, there's so many conflicting opinions out there that, that you're going to get uh, paralysis by analysis, is yeah. how I like to say it. Because you go and say, oh, well, you know, I want to do, you know, I want to run speaker cable. You're going to go on a forum and they're going to have six different ways to do it. And we'll tell you, but in our experience of the hundreds of theaters that we've done, we're going to tell you, the, in our opinion, what's the right way to do it. Yeah. So with that $1,000 deposit, I paid that to mm -hmm. you. You've laid all this out. You've told me where I need to position my seats, mm -hmm. where my speakers are going to go. Of course, Audio Advice sells a ton of gear yep. from speakers to even furniture. You've got your yep. new theater seats that we just shared with you guys literally yesterday, I think, is when mm -hmm. the video went live. So we've got the Revelation mm -hmm. theater seats and you've got amplifiers. You've got pretty much everything you yep. need for a system so they can purchase that through you as well. Yep. Does that thousand dollars, can we apply that to that or is that just something totally separate? Nope, that's going to it. So any purchase, currently, again, the way it stands, everything's subject to change depending on volume. Sure. <laughs> but uh, for the for the time being, it's a thousand dollars that goes towards a purchase of 10,000 or more. Awesome. Our goal is to be a one-stop shop. Cool. So, you know, everything from design to every single piece of equipment that we sell, it's we all have, we have it all. And so we have the seats, cabling, rack, and then after it's all done, we just lay out this room. I like to go ahead and analyze acoustics, even if they're not ready to go ahead and throw up some you know, full scale acoustic panels, sure. we try to make it scalable. So we have every single piece they're gonna need. So Nick, I always love value. And one thing that I hear in this is that we're gonna buy equipment anyway. We're gonna mm -hmm. buy our speakers, we're gonna buy our uh, amplifiers, our AVR, our processor, our projector. And being able to take that thousand dollars and apply that to that amount, yep. that's like getting your services for free. Exactly, and that's and that's what we try to do is because we don't want to you know sit here and do designs all day that right. you know we're not able to see the project through because we want to be able to help, and Absolutely. that's that's what we do. So, you know, with the uh, you know with the product purchases, we also do calibration. Okay. So, you know, of course, video calibration is a little challenging to do whenever Certainly. you're whenever you're remote, but. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to running Dirac or uh, you know Arc or Odyssey, anything like that, we have IP controls and Team Viewer where we can go in and actually help set that up. Sure. So you can do that remotely. So if yep. somebody, if I've got one of my audience that's in New York City, and you can dial into their system, you yep. can set their crossovers for them. Because I know sometimes people are like, look, I don't understand this. I would rather just hire somebody. You set it up. That's a whole mm -hmm. lot cheaper than hiring somebody to fly into your home, yeah. to dial it in, to set it up. And like I said, there's some challenges yeah. there, but it's a huge cost savings. Well, you know, there's an advantage to being in person and being able to hear it and tweak it on the, on the fly. Certainly. But with the microphones being so good that, you know, it, I recommend 
certain microphones sure. and, and people buy it. And so with yeah. full theater purchases, you know, I'll sit down, just have them move the microphone around. Yeah. We'll do the measurements, and then after that, we adjust the curve yeah. and set it. And then after a week, they say, hey, you know what? Maybe I want a little bit more bass, because okay. you probably know as yeah, well yeah. as anybody. Sometimes like they it. can pull that bass away. Yeah. And uh, so we'll go back through and make the tweaks. And so that's about making the lifetime support for our customers. We also just want to act as an advisor through the entire project. Awesome. So you have one person to call. You have one place to buy all your equipment. And you have one guy working on your design. So Nick, I know you work directly with consumers, you know, building their own, the DIY community. But let's say somebody's building a home, they're maybe working with contractors and mm -hmm. they don't even know what questions to ask or where to put the wires. Mm -hmm. Can you work with those as well? Yeah, well, you know, our uh, layout, once everything's exported and you have the rendering and the overhead view, it's fairly self-explanatory, you know, just because it's laid out well. But, uh, you know, if they have questions, we actually will talk to the contractors directly and help them, you know, run the cables, tell them where to run it, what kind of cables to run, everything along those lines. You guys make it easy. And, and like I said, I've shared with you guys, I love what y'all stand for. Yeah. You truly are about the community. I mean, that's this event that we're at right now <laughs> is for the community. We're trying to build the industry. We're trying to get people excited about building home theaters in mm -hmm. their space to enjoy their friends, enjoy their family. And like I said, I love what you stand for. I love your your morals. I love everything about you guys. Well, you know, I've been yeah. super to work with. At the, at the end of the day, we love this stuff. Yeah. And everybody on our team from, you know, the very top person to, you know, myself, yeah. <laughs> everybody here loves the gear and yeah. they, they love theater and they love good sound. And so the passion bleeds through. And it's evident in everything you guys do. Y'all are killing it in space. You make some incredible home theaters. And so I'm just gonna give you a plug for their channel as well. You guys make my home theaters look bad. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. And speaking of home theaters, I actually filmed just yesterday a beautiful home theater that you designed, mm -hmm. that y'all built. It's phenomenal. It's a 17 bed layer, <laughs> 17 speakers on the bottom, five subwoofers, 10 Dolby Atmos oh, speakers. It's, it's amazing. It is phenomenal. Amazing. So I'll have that video. Once I get home, I'll be editing that. So, <laughs> but y'all make some great home theaters. But again, you can do big home theaters like that. You can mm -hmm. scale it down to fit your budget, your needs. So if you're interested, I'll have all the information down in the comments and down in the description to your uh, design tool, but then also how to get in touch with you guys. Yeah. And of course, anything you need, you can check them out on their website. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to talking to everybody and looking forward to getting some theaters built.